Welcome to Dartmouth College, a private four-year liberal arts institution that has been at the forefront of American hey, education. Hey, that's my job. Come join us on our campus tour. Dartmouth is located in the town of Hanover, New Hampshire, ranked second by Money Magazine's 2007 Best Places to Live, about two hours northwest of Boston and five hours north of New York City. Hanover is definitely not a city. Um, it's a small town, one of about 10,000 people, but it does provide the campus, I think, with a wonderful community in which to be located. I think our location also affords students the opportunities to hike, to ski, to canoe, to kayak. So I think our natural setting really encourages our students uh, in terms of getting outside and really enjoying the area. Founded in 1769, Dartmouth sits on 269 pristine acres featuring a central green, which is surrounded on three sides by academic buildings. Residence halls and administrative buildings are all within walking distance of the green. Dartmouth's 269-acre main campus features a central green with academic buildings clustered on three sides. Some notable facilities on campus include the Hood Museum of Art and the Hopkins Center for the Arts. I guess what ended up bringing me to Dartmouth was when I came up here to visit as, as a prospective student and people here were so embracing and so nice and it was almost like ridiculously nice. Dartmouth enrolls approximately 5,700 students and roughly 4,100 of those are undergraduates. Students come from 50 states and 53 foreign countries and minorities make up more than 27% of the undergraduate population. Um, I think there's just a lot of good energy, there's a lot of positive energy on campus coming from the campus, coming from the support you get from your faculty, coming from the interactions you'll have with administrators. For me, Dartmouth is a special place in Hanover, New Hampshire that I look forward to coming back to and has all these wonderful memories for me. Acceptance into Dartmouth College is extremely selective. Out of more than 14,000 applicants for the class of 2011, just over 2,100 were admitted, which is an acceptance rate of 15%. The typical Dartmouth student is probably hard to describe. A typical Dartmouth the student is bright, energetic, has a lot of ideas, is very independent, uh, and has a lot of energy. Undergraduate tuition and fees are just under $35,000 per year. Including room and board, that figure goes up to roughly $45,000. But about half the students at Dartmouth receive need-based financial aid. The average need-based scholarship award for the class of 2011 is $30,575. At Dartmouth, what students learn outside the classroom is often as meaningful as what they learn inside. The BEMA is a hot spot for water balloon fights, picnics, soccer games, and even weddings. Dartmouth's undergraduate college contains 29 departments and 10 interdisciplinary programs, not to mention graduate schools of arts and sciences, medicine, engineering, and business. I was able to travel to the Caribbean this um, past year to do some work uh, in the Dominican Republic. I was teaching and doing um, work in a Haitian migrant community and HIV AIDS prevention. Um, I was funded by Dartmouth to do that, so I've been really able to take my uh, studies inside the classroom, kind of outside the classroom as well, which has been really exciting. Some of the college's most popular majors include economics, government, and psychological and brain sciences. Dartmouth features 597 tenured or tenure-track professors, and 90% of them hold a PhD or equivalent degree. Because my classes are small, I get to know my students pretty well, and I develop good relationships with them, and I like to sit and talk to them. Undergraduates have lots of access to faculty because all courses are taught by professors, and professors are encouraged to involve undergrads in their research work. Like a great athlete, if somebody showed you how to take a little bit of um, time off a lap that you do or be able to throw that fastball just a half a mile an hour sh faster, even the best students actually benefit from those services. And so I think we try to make sure that in the first year that we actually sort of drive students toward the academic skill center as an opportunity for them. Um, get a chance to be able to sort of work on studying because that's just as much a part of learning as a calculus formula or a Shakespeare sonnet. Dartmouth College fields 34 varsity athletes athletic teams nicknamed the Big Green, which compete at the NCAA Division I level in the Ivy League. Sports are an important component of life on campus, so much so that about three quarters of undergrad students participate in some type of athletics. Um, I had a really great experience my first year. I was in a three-room double, so I had a room and my roommate had her own room. We had a common room that was three times the size of those rooms in between us. Um, my first year, I was living in a first-year cluster. The people on my freshman floor were absolutely um, my closest friends, and a number of them still are my best friends here. Because everyone's just really excited to be here, and you're just making friends and meeting new people. There are some great student quarters. There's some great classrooms. This building is not more than six years old, and uh, it's just a great example of how I think changing 
changing with the times. We're actually producing a better place for students to learn. I think we're a better place for students to live, even. Dartmouth students give back to the community as well, with about 60% of them volunteering either on or off campus. Fall term, there's homecoming. We build a huge, I think, 40-foot tall bonfire in the middle of the green. And the incoming class, you know, the freshmen run around it. In the winter, we have winter carnival, where we sort of embrace how cold it gets up here. So there'll be um, a bunch of skiing, a bunch of ice skating, like it's a bunch of really fun stuff, snowball fights. In the spring, we have what we call green key. Um, there's a bunch of barbecues, a bunch of pig roasts, um, more parties. <laughs> In the summer, something that has really just started now, is something called field stock, where there are a bunch of crazy, silly sort of games, like a greased watermelon toss and all that stuff. And that's a new tradition that's starting now. And so every, the great part is that every term you have something fun to look forward to. Dartmouth has an amazing nine libraries on both their main and medical campuses. In fact, they recently acquired a rare collection of books and artwork by Maurice Sendak, who's best known for his children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. Also, a very famous Dartmouth alum is Dr. Seuss. Look, look, I found a book. Thanks for joining us here in Hanover, New Hampshire on our tour of Dartmouth College. This is Chloe DeLandis. See you soon.